It's River Hawks Weekly, featuring Grady Findor, Janiah Nathan, and Ariana Moltzby. And now, coming to you from our CATV headquarters in the RTVS room, here are this week's top stories. Happy March, River Hawks. We're here and we're back. Let's kick it off with the announcements of the week. Shout out Kirsten Roberg for a great organization with the Students vs. Staff Volleyball game. Your organization and leadership made the event a fun night and kids enjoyed it. Hopefully in the future we can make it bigger and better with more involvement from the staff and community. Thanks again! You can expect a high of 48 with a low of 34 and cloudy skies. On fun day, you can expect a high of 55 with a low of 34 and a 40% chance of rain. Do you believe your older self is watching you through memories? Sure. Yeah. Or even a mirror. Sometimes a mirror? I look in a mirror and I believe that I'm looking at my future self. But you're not because you're <laughs> looking at the mirror in the now. And yeah, it's but reflecting like... No, but like you don't ever sit and stare in a mirror. You never see, you like, you physically can never see your face. Ever. But if you're looking in a mirror. Uh uh, you can't, you like with your own eyes, you cannot see your face. It's true. You see a reflection of it. You can't see your face. Have you ever wanted to see your own face? Like, you ever ever wonder how people look at you? Like, actually, no, I tried that with the inverted filter and I like cried. Me too. That's actually really sad. You know, you should try that. I did. (laughs) You <laughs> look great. Good time. Good time. Like and subscribe. What? Did she just talk? Okay. No, she okay. said like yeah. and subscribe. Cut. I am with Mr. Prey, who for the last three years has been the general director of the CA Tarava Club. Just wrapped Mamma Mia recently, a fabulous show. How are you feeling uh, now that you've had time to process everything? Tired. I'm not as tired as I was last week, but very, very proud, very happy with how the production came out, um, how well the kids worked, how well everything really just came together. It's been a, um, a long process that started even before January, out all the way back to last year. So uh, it's, it's st- still processing a lot of it, but definitely very tired, but, but more proud than tired, I think, at this point, yeah. So with each new show, the past three that you've done, you've had new faces come to auditions, new students coming in through the ranks, uh, whether they have uh, backstage jobs or if they're involved in the cast uh, or other parts of the creative process. What surprises you the most about each new drama club show that different students help to create? So I would say first, what always surprises me is the talent that the kids bring to the process. Um, I remember all the students back in seventh grade, I didn't know how well they could sing, how well they could dance, how well they could create, you know, the, the sets or, or anything that they worked on. So, so seeing their sort of innate talents come out is always great to see. Um, and also how they work together. People, students who aren't necessarily friends per se outside of, of the drama club, um, just come together and, and help each other out, whatever it might be with wardrobe, with the scene changing, anything like that. Just the ability for everyone to come together for sort of those striations between clicks to sort of melt away so that everyone makes sure that we're, we're doing as best as possible here in this production. Those are probably the two things that I, I recognize and am most, I don't know, I want to say proud of because I'm not really doing a whole lot of, of that work, but I'm proud to see the kids elevate themselves beyond you know the clicks and the, the small little groupings that might happen in a school out in the cafeteria or in the hallway just all come together really for a team effort um, to make sure that we put on the best show possible. Great. Yeah. Can you tell us about some of the people that helped put the show together and their impact in helping you with your vision? This year we had the biggest production team that we've ever had, which I think is part of the reason why the show was so successful. Bringing in Mr. Healy and Mrs. Mazzillo to sort of help myself and Ms. Greenaway with the music, with the, the choreography that we had, which was much greater than we've ever dealt with before. That, that the team inside the building really was the one that did all of the majority of the work, which really, by being able to sort of 
handoffs, the big scenes and some small scenes and, and everything in the middle made the process not only easier for myself, but it allowed more flavors, I think, to come in, which was nice to see. Our uh, choreographer, Maddie, that we brought in, um, did an amazing job, obviously took a, that off my plate, which I had no idea what I, I was going to do anyway with that choreographer. And, and then, you know, from the students, the student helpers, the guys in the AV booth, uh, Wes Lackey helping us with the lights and the sounds, Mr. P uh, and his group working on the, the sets. Uh, it, was, it was really uh, a teamwork makes a dream work type of scenario. And I just felt very lucky and very proud to be surrounded by so much talent um, that I guys, I've said to people before, I feel like I had the easiest job out of everyone working. Uh, I really just kind of sat back and, and helped people do their jobs. So definitely I would say that that is the production team and the people we had helping behind the scenes, and, you know, behind the curtains, in front of the curtains in the booth made the whole process that much easier. It was great. So specifically from this production that just wrapped Mamma Mia, any fond memories that you have from the process in particular? Anything stand out? For some reason, and I don't, is I always remember the mistakes and how we overcame them. Whether it was microphone feedback, AV issues, whatever it might be, I'm seeing the kids right in the moment, overcoming tasks, overcoming I'm sure, issues that might be with wardrobe or forgetting a line or anything like that. Seeing kids help each other through those difficult times. You know, we learn the most through, through mistakes and through difficulties. It's, it's always great when everything goes smoothly, but seeing, seeing real actual kids deal with real world problems in real time is, is always, I think, the most exciting thing for me. So this show uh, was kind of special for a number of reasons, for sure, but also in addition to directing it, you also kind of starred in it. We recruited uh, the members of the faculty to participate in a couple of uh, scenes and, and part, be part of the cast, um, it, which was a real treat for the students who came to see the show, but also for those who were involved. Uh, why is it important for students to get to experience what their teachers are like outside of the classroom in that way, especially on a fun project like this? I think it humanizes teachers a lot of the time. I know um, a lot of the times it feels like we live here at school and we're just, we're not people outside of these four walls. So it, it humanizes us and I think it's also nice to see teachers doing things outside of their comfort zone. That was very far outside of my comfort zone to be on stage, to, to remember lines, to remember dancing, to be singing in front of people. And I, I think it goes the same way too for teachers, the teachers we brought in for myself and the other production crew to see kids outside of the classroom as well. I know as an English teacher, some kids don't really like ELA, so they don't really blossom in class, and I, I kind of miss who they really are. But here on, in Drama Club, everyone wants to be here, everyone loves being part of it. And so so seeing those those different parts of ourselves that we don't see in the, you know, the sort of the confines of a normal classroom, give us more a comprehensive view of who, who we all are as humans instead of as specifically a teacher or, uh, or a student, but just, fills in the picture a little bit more, with more colors, it feels like. And finally, is, is bittersweet when you're closing a show, particularly for your senior members of Drama Club wrapping up their high school careers. Any words for the graduating senior members of Drama Club who are moving on from their lives at CA? Oh boy, well, lots of words uh, have been shared between uh, rehearsals and the parties afterward. And all those. the one thing that I, I think everyone really understood and I tried to press a lot was the value of hard work. Um, we made sure that we we really pushed everyone for every rehearsal to work as hard as they can to give us that energy and that focus. And when a group of talented people come together and work hard, we, you know, we can see what happens. Working hard through the good and through the bad and, and never letting anything bog you down um, and staying positive and, and every day getting up and, and trying a little bit harder each time to, to get to that goal, whatever it is that you're looking for. So I would say for those of you who will be leaving school uh, this year in June, um, just continue to work hard. You never know what's, what break you're going to get. The harder you work, you're going to find yourself finding those breaks and getting those opportunities. And you never know what's going to happen. And, and, it, and it's not always necessarily driven by talent. Um, talent's great, but uh, without the hard work, it, it's just something pretty on the shelf. So no matter what you're doing, keep plugging away, keep working hard. You know, use those skills that you've gotten through, through CA, through the music program, through the classes, whatever it might be. Use those talents, but don't, never forget the value of hard work perfect way to wrap up the interview. Thank you so much for talking to us here at uh, Riverhawks TV, Mr. Prey, and we look forward to seeing what the Drama Club puts up for next year. Thank you. Rolling in five, four,
Three. Two. Right, what do we do? Two. That. Oh. Deep thoughts. We're still going. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was just gonna be that.